What are intermolecular forces? If we break the term down, it means forces in between molecules. This is different to intramolecular forces, which are forces within molecules, like covalent and ionic bonding. There are three main types of intermolecular bonds that you need to know about. Starting from weakest to strongest, we have van der Waal interactions, also known as instantaneous dipole, induced dipole interactions. These interactions occur in all molecules. Let's take a non-polar molecule, such as Br2. On average, the electrons are evenly distributed around the molecule. However, for a split second, there are more electrons on one side of the molecule compared to the other side, or vice versa, creating what's known as an instantaneous dipole. A non-polar molecule next to this will have electrons being pulled to the slightly positive side of the instantaneous dipole, inducing a dipole. This can happen across a huge number of molecules. The bigger the molecule or atom, the more electrons there are, increasing the strength of the van der Waal forces. Let's have a look at the noble gases, for example. As you go down the group, the size of the atom increases due to more electrons. Therefore, the van der Waal forces are stronger. Therefore, more energy is needed to overcome these forces between the atoms, increasing the boiling point. Also, the more branched the molecule is, the weaker the van der Waal forces are, as straighter chains can lie closer together than more branched chains. Next, we have dipole-dipole interactions. This occurs when molecules have a permanent dipole. Let's take a molecule with a permanent dipole, such as HCl. This dipole is caused by chlorine being more electronegative than hydrogen. The chlorine attracts the shared electrons more strongly than the hydrogen. If I take another HCl molecule, there is an attraction between those molecules. This attraction is stronger than van der Waal interactions, since these dipoles are permanent. Finally, we have hydrogen bonding. This occurs when molecules have a hydrogen atom attached to an F, O, or N atom, or FON. A classic example of hydrogen bonding is water. Each oxygen has two lone pairs, and the oxygen is much more electronegative than the hydrogen, so we have a polar bond. Now there's an attraction between the hydrogen and the lone pairs on the oxygen. This is a hydrogen bond. The reason why these bonds are so strong is because of the large difference in electronegativity, so they can interact strongly with one another. Also, there are short dipole-dipole distances, since the hydrogen is so small.